Welcome to Recipe Club, the show where we bring your recipes into our homes like so many abandoned children, then raise them up as our own, then push them back out into the world with a whole new set of outlooks on life. If that doesn't make sense to you, stick around. I'll explain all of it. In this episode, we are focusing on the ingredient duck. Quack, quack. Quack, a thing that a lot of people love to eat and very few people actually cook. If you're somebody who thinks that a duck has to be prepared in the French style with crispy skin or confit or a l'orange, quack, quack, quack. You got nothing coming because we got a delicious one today for braised duck with soy sauce, star anise, all sorts of delicious aromatics. It's gonna be fall apart tender and moist and juicy and all of those buzzy words that you love so much. It's an amazing accompaniment to rice. Quack, quack, quack. We're gonna cook the original version and then we're gonna do three variations, including a one pot streamlined one from Dave Chang, although knowing Dave, he's gonna up the ante a little bit. I'm gonna try to make this dish for less than $20 and Rachel Kong is going to do the opposite. She's going to make a luxe, deluxe version, $150, $200, all the bells and whistles. But first, quack, 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 Here's how the original braised duck recipe gets made. Okay, so here we have Grandma Wong slash Mama Cho's braised duck. It all begins with finding a large Dutch oven or heavy bottom pot that will accommodate your whole duck. You don't want it to be much bigger than that. Start by placing six to eight star anise in the bottom of the pan, then add half a cup of light soy sauce, third of a cup of dark soy sauce or whatever you have left in the bottle in my case, a couple tablespoons of sugar, a quarter cup of Shaoxing wine, half a teaspoon of garlic powder, okay, maybe a little bit more than that, and a pinch of salt, now, nestle the duck right into that liquid and bring the liquid to a simmer. You're gonna cook for 30 minutes covered and then open it up and flip the duck over so it's breast side down. Do your best to get in there with a spoon so you can baste the duck so it gets uniformly brown all over and keep cooking for another half hour, at which point you're going to open it up and flip it over again and cook for another 30 minutes. You know your duck is done when it is delicious. Get yourself a scoop of steamed white rice, and to that you're gonna add some of this fatty soy sauce, a few big generous chunks of meat, maybe a little more sauce, and a few little slivers of scallion to garnish. This is really a pretty simple dish, and it is, to me, the flavor of my childhood. Sweet, salty, sticky, fatty duck on rice. I mean, come on, just makes me happy. Okay, so that was how the original duck was made as you all sent it to us. Now we're gonna play around with it, starting with Rachel, who's gonna try to elevate this thing and spend as much of our money as she can. So take a look at what happens when you give Rachel Kong your credit card and an assignment to go wild. So Rachel's first move in Luxing this duck dish up is to buy fancy versions of all the marinade ingredients, but don't worry She's got other tricks up her sleeve. She's got a little surprise for you Surprise! It's abalone. If you're not familiar with abalone, it is one of the world's most delicious shellfish It is very hard to find and very very expensive. So here's the marinating duck I'm going to put the abalone at the bottom set of chopsticks. They're still on their shelves. So I'm just gonna leave them. Rachel, we gotta get you a bigger pot. That duck does not fit. I assume I need to add these guys. I'm just realizing it says breast face up, so I'm gonna flip it right now. Oh, apologies to anybody who didn't know there was gonna be full frontal nudity in this episode. What is she using to move the duck? Oh, they're gigantic chopsticks that every Asian person has in their home. <laughs> Did it. Did it. Did it. Okay. That looks totally bonkers. Like a giant duck mothership with little 
UFO abalones <laughs> floating around. That is wild. Good. Am I saying quotes or just opinions? So good. <laughs> just, yeah, it's so good. It's so good. Mmm. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So Rachel spent a lot of money on making that duck. It. <coughs> Terrible. Terrible. There you have Rachel Kong's Lux version of the braised duck with abalone, very expensive soy sauce, fancy star anise. And while that duck, I agree, looks a little blonde, <laughs> she assures us it was incredibly delicious. So that is the fancy version. Now over here, the popper boy is gonna try to make a $20 budget version, which is a challenge because a whole duck usually costs upwards of 35 or 40 bucks. So let's see what your boy can come up with. Hey, it's Chris. I'm here in the Major Double Media studio where the air conditioning has decided to stop working. It's very hot and humid and disgusting. So I'm gonna brace some duck, because why not when you're hot and sweaty? Why not make some sticky, icky duck? I drew the budget straw this week, so I'm gonna try to make this uh, whole braised duck for less than $20. I'm gonna try to do this in a very real budget way. And uh, the one place I know you can find duck for less than $20 is through the magical portal of financial fantasy known as a Chinese barbecue restaurant because you can get basically a whole roast duck for cheaper than you can buy a whole raw duck at a grocery store. So I bought a half duck, um, half roast duck that I'm gonna use <laughs> to, to stand in for the whole duck. And then the other big change I'm gonna make here just to make, to stretch my dollar with this budget version of the duck is to add some filler. So I got half a duck and I found some root veggies, uh, some daikon and some carrots in our fridge. So I'm gonna use that to stretch this dish out. It's gonna be filler, it's gonna absorb the flavor hopefully and be just as delicious as the duck itself. So uh, that's my plan. So obviously with this already roasted duck, there's not gonna be any marinating process. It's just, it's already cooked, it's roasted, it's brown. So I'm gonna skip through most of the first few steps of this recipe. So this is daikon, which, you know, it's not called for in this recipe, but I feel like it has a totally valid place in a whole braised duck dish. And then carrots. So <clears throat> I'm trying to figure out how long this braising process will take. I kind of want to slice my veggies accordingly. Daikon of this thickness probably takes about an hour, I think, to soften. So let's say that's about right. Carrots, I think, can be a little bit bigger. <clears throat> so that's it. Now I've got my, all the same ingredients, dark soy sauce, light soy sauce, Shaoxing wine, a little garlic powder, and some star anise. What did I say? Star anise? Anise. That's star anise for those who are pronouncing it correctly. And some sugar. <laughs> here's the thing here, and it's something you need to understand. Everybody poops. Everybody poops. The star anus is not an ingredient. It's not a traditional Every, choice. I just want to let you know, you know, it's okay. You're in your 40s, Why your kids, everybody poops. And they, it all comes out of a little star anus. The fact that we got a swinging door installed in this kitchen is never going to be a I good I just felt like Kramer. <laughs> Anuses! <laughs> and now I'm Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay. Okay. Do a little bit of oil. 
So what really makes this possible is having a pantry that has the correct ingredients, soy sauce, sugar, garlic powder, Shaoxing wine. But listen, any civilized pantry already has these things, so I count this as still under $20. Any Chinese roast duck house worth its salt is gonna send you home with the sweet and sticky duck sauce, but also a little styrofoam ramekin of some delightful salty duck dipping barbecue drippings. So into the pan. If I were braising a whole duck, I could count on the juices and rendered fat to kind of tone down the sauce a little bit. But since we're using already roast duck, you gotta dial in that seasoning before you add your meat. Oh, roast duck. I may just be a simple content farmer, but that looks pretty good to me. This is all coming along just fine, although I've tasted it a few times and it's been salty. So I've added water. I mean, come on, that looks pretty good for $20. All right, it's been about an hour. Okay. Look at that. It kind of works. Dry con is pretty soft. Our duck is all crazy. Add a lot of water to this. But, um, there's your budget braised duck. Hold on, let me try this out. Um, all right, you can totally make passable duck using an already roasted one. You could do this with leftovers. And here's the test of the uh... the veggie go. I feel like this is a real genuine budget. How do you make this thing? It needs rice too, but if you're on a budget, you can totally make a $20, less than $20 braised duck. You got soy sauce and stuff in your cabinet and you've got leftover duck. I don't know why you would have leftover duck, but if you do, you can braise it again. Now, I honestly think it's better to braise it again than to try to reheat it in the oven or something. So I feel pretty happy with that. I added a lot of water to this to make it less salty. Um, but other than that, followed it pretty closely. A little extra sugar and the vegetables for filler. This is the $20 braised duck in soy sauce. While I was making that budget version of the roast duck in this kitchen, Dave was just on the other side of this wall doing his one pot version of the same dish. Now, it's already pretty much a one pot dish, but knowing Dave, he wanted to try to do this a little smarter. All right, I gotta do this braised duck. It's one pot. I'm not going to marinate it because I'm cooking it all in one pot anyway. Um, and I might add a few things. Um, so basically, the recipe is really simple. You take a duck, you cook the shit out of it in aromatics. No, one aromatic, star anise, and flavorful liquids. What I'm gonna do is really start cooking this off. Oh, look at those cute little toes. So first things first, he's going to try to get a little color and render some of the fat out of the leg quarters and body parts of the duck. But once the fat is rendered, in go the aromatics. He's using a little fresh ginger instead of ginger powder because we had some in the kitchen. All right, so he's moving aside some of the dark meat to make room for the duck breast. From this angle, it looks like Dave is cooking shirtless in a pair of farmer overalls. <laughs> so he's pulling the duck breasts out of the cook so that they don't end up getting braised separately. I think those will come back later for a little contrast because duck breast is different than duck legs.
Now in go all of your braising liquids and seasonings. about 45 minutes. So I put the chicken breast back in, um, turning off the heat and let the carryover cooking time happen. It's all one pot. I took the, the carcass and the necks out and this is all cooked down. I added a little bit of water because it was a little over reduced. I gotta say, very good. I would eat the out of this with rice. Super simple recipe. Yes, I added fresh garlic, and yes, I added onions. And I cooked it a little bit differently, but I assure you the flavor is gonna be pretty much the same. It's just well, very well-rounded. It reminds me of my, my grandfather's pork belly dish, and I love so much. I think out of all of us, Dave got the most ridiculously perfect sauce that's just a low temp, so the fat emulsifies with all the liquid and juices and water and soy sauce. But look at that stuff, it's, it's glossy. You could put that in a bottle and sell it. It's really good. So there you go, four variations on a braised duck dish. Dave said his version reminded him of his grandfather's pork belly. Mine reminded me very much of a similar dish my uncle makes, and Rachel was reminded of growing up in the palaces of Malaysia where her servants would give her abalone and braised duck. I don't know. These are the kinds of recipes we love to cook. These are the, this is home cooking at its finest. This is pure love from your kitchens to ours. So thank you for sending them in. If you wanna hear more about the cooking process for all of the things you saw today, listen to the full episodes of the Recipe Club podcast on Spotify or wherever you get your podcasts. Please like this video, please and subscribe to our channel. Turn on notifications so you'll be the first to see when a new recipe club drops or a gang cooks the internet or Dave doing his thing, you'll be the first to know. Comment below so that we know you're out there alive and healthy, we miss you. Your mother and I want you to come home, but the least you could do is comment on our YouTubes. Thank you for watching. We'll talk to you all very soon.